Welcome to filling a conical tank. Water runs into a conical tank at the rate of 9 cubic feet per minute. The tank stands point down and has a height of 10 feet and a base uh, and, uh, and a base radius, is what this was to say, of 5 feet. How fast is the water level rising? So that would be dH dt when the water is six feet deep. All right, so we're dealing with volume here. We're filling up something. And we're looking, we're just talking about the radius of the surface of the water at time t. All right, h is the height, depth or height of the water. We're given dv dt, all right, because we're filling up the tank. Uh, and it is positive because we're filling it, not emptying it. So dv dt is 9 cubic feet or 9 feet cubed for, per minute. We're interested in the, um, when the, so the, the total, actually the tank, we're not, that's not necessarily the time we're interested in, but the tank itself has a radius of 5 meters, I put feet, it should be meters. Well, according to my picture, it should be meters. Since everything is feet, let's just change the picture. That would be the easiest thing to do. All right, so make it a smaller tank. So uh, the radius of that is 5 feet, and the height is 10 feet. All right, and so we want to find um, dH dt, and we have a problem. All right, so we have three variables. We have, volume, we have V, volume, R radius, and H height. I know dV dt. I'm looking for dH dt. What do I do about dr dt? Now you cannot have more than one unknown in an equation. So you're going to have to set up uh, some similar triangles right, to find the relationship between um, those two variables. So you can rewrite one in terms of the other. All right? So we have now the height of the actual tank is 10. But that's not the height we're interested in. Let's just call that h. The radius of the tank is 5 feet. But that's not the radius we're interested in. Let's just call this r. right? Because our tank is not all the way full when we are determining the how fast the water level is rising. If it was full, it wouldn't be rising at all. It'd just be spilling all over the place. So we're going to rewrite in terms of one variable. Right? And there's a relationship. These are similar triangles. Right? As, as um, r increases, so does h. Right? So r is to 5 as h is to 10. Now, you can, well, we can cross multiply and write this in terms of r, because we're going to replace r. Now, if you like, you can reduce. Right? You can reduce the 5 and the 10. Right? That would reduce to 1 and 2. And so that means that two r's, let's just cross multiply. You did this in geometry. Two r's equal h. Now, I wanted to solve in terms of r, so r is h over 2. And that makes sense, because the radius is half the, half the size of the, um, of the height. Right? But set it up like this so you don't make any mistakes. You don't accidentally reverse numbers. All right, so now we're going to replace r with h over 2. And then we will only have one variable, not two variables, and we will not be stuck. All right, so we have v equals 1 third pi. So instead of the r, we're going to have h over 2, and the whole thing is squared. Oh, by the way, this is the formula from geometry, right, of the volume of a cone. Yeah, it's a little funky in the center there. All right, so let's simplify that. So volume is 1 third pi h squared over 4 times h. Well, let's simplify that a little bit more. All right, let's combine the 1 and the 3 in the denominator there. Let's combine the h's. So now volume is 1 12th pi h cubed. And now let's take the derivative, because we're solving for dh dt. 
All right, so anytime you've got two variables, just uh, know that you're going to end up rewriting one, I should say anytime you have three, because you're going to have one unknown. But anytime you have an additional variable, uh, just know you're going to be rewriting it in terms of the other, so you can just have two variables. All right, so now let's take the derivative. So this would be dv dt equals, and that would be um, 1 12th pi is just a coefficient, times 3, and that would be h squared. That looks a little funny. Let's do that a little bit nicer. I think I was supposed to take the derivative on the other page because I don't have too much space. You know what? So I'm actually going to just move this over because I have a whole other page. And I bet you that's what I, was, I intended that page to be because it's really getting cramped down here. Let's just remember v equals 1 12th pi h cubed. Let's take the derivative on the next page where it's not so cramped. See, I've got more space here. All right, so v equals 1 12th pi r cubed. Now let's take the derivative. I have more space. And I don't know what else I intended the space for. dvt equals, so this would be 1 12th pi times 3 times, oops, too many pi's, r squared, dr dt. All right, so we'll simplify that. So dv dt, I don't know what happens. I keep missing the tops of my d's. Is that will reduce. So that's going to be 1 4th pi r squared dr dt. And now we're solving for, oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. All right. Except for one little thing. One little error. I'd redo it, but you'll understand my little error and be okay with it, right? I wrote r instead of h. <laughs> I'm like, hey, we're solving for dh dt. Uh-oh. I replaced the R with an H. That's just called, I forgot what I had on the other page. There we go. So dv dt d is a 1 4th pi h squared dh dt. If I wasn't seven minutes in, I'd probably retape re re it. All right. That's just called... I forgot what was on the last page. It was an H, not an R. We're looking for the H, D, D. Anyway, it wouldn't, you couldn't just substitute R and H. They have a different relationship, right? It would take two R's to equal one H if we were doing it that way. Um, all right, so now we have it all nice. We have our derivative. So I'm going to make sure I go through it. So derivative of volume is dv dt. Derivative of 1 12th pi h cubed would be 1 12th pi times 3, and then reduce the exponent by 1. And that just simplifies to 1 4th pi h squared. There we go. Now we know dv dt. We want dh dt. So let's just divide everything. Um, now when you divide by a 4th, that's the same as multiplying by 4. So 4 dv dt divided by pi h squared is dh dt. All right, and I'm going to come, I guess, this direction, and we'll just substitute and simplify. All right, so dv dt was 9. The height was 6, right, when the water is 6 feet deep. And oh boy, oh boy, isn't this going to simplify nicely? All right, so this is going to be 1, so that's going to be 36 divided by 36, so 1 over pi. And this, the units would be, because it's height, would be feet per minute is dh dt. Let's put in a little explanation for our answer, and then we're done. So this is a very common problem, your conical tanks. Also conical mounds of sand, which really would be a cone if you dump sand. All right, so the answer is the water level is increasing 
at a rate of 1 over pi feet per minute when the depth is, I'm running out of space. And what else could the, you have the depth of but water? I'll put of the water. Depth of the water is six feet. There we go. So there we put in a little explanation. So the water level is increasing at a rate of one over pi feet per minute when the depth of the water is six feet. So other than my oops a doops a copying error, um, I hope that everything was clear on this one. Thanks for watching and bye for now.